There was an article that was just posted in Allure that I thought was really quite good. It talked about how some injectables can make a future facelift more difficult, technically more complicated, and more risk for complications as well as poor results. She talked to a bunch of plastic surgeons who agreed that using a lot of biostimulants like dilute radius or Sculptra or using threads or using deep energy devices like Ulthera or like some of the RF energy devices could cause scarring. Because what we're talking about when we talk about stimulating collagen is that we're causing controlled scarring. Now for most patients, that's quite effective in doing what we wanted to do, but for some, they scar more than others and sometimes those patients can't present with issues. Now I've spoken to a bunch of plastic surgeons as well and they say that most of the patients they operate on have had something like biostimulatory or energy devices and it's no problem to do the operation, but occasionally you can get a problem. But in my conversation, what I consistently hear is that what complicates their facelifts more often than anything else is poorly done previous procedures like starter facelifts or mini lifts and things like that that people get when they're not really yet ready for facelifts and they're not good candidates, but they get them on the cheap because they think that if they get it early, they can have better results later on. So what to do? Read the caption.